everyone, and welcome to Ubisoft Forward. I'm Mila. And I'm Yusuf. We're so thrilled to be back hosting Ubisoft Forward. Over the next hour, we'll be your guides to all the latest news and exciting announcements coming from Ubisoft. We've got so much in store for you today, including deeper looks at Far Cry 6, Riders Republic, and Rainbow Six, plus a few other surprises you'll find out about soon enough. Neelam, I'm excited. We're filming this together. We got this gorgeous set. E3 is back. But I know why y'all are here. You want to see games, so let's get right into it. The Rainbow Six operators are facing off against an evolving and deadly threat. You'll no doubt have noticed that the alien parasite has spread to new areas. It's time to suit up and step into the containment zone. Here's a deeper look at Rainbow Six Extraction. I used to feel so much peace staring into the heavens until a piece of it fell. And the nightmare began. We thought it could be contained. But it evolved. So we did too. One of our own is MIA. I need an extraction team, now. If there's a way to stop them, you will find it. But I know you will find me first. Okay, the plan. Nomad, secure our exit. I'll take out the nests. And I'll find Ivana. I have your signal. Let's go. We are already out of the nests. Incoming! Clear the area! <laughs> yeah, too bad you missed all the fireworks. Team, it's Ash. We're not done yet. VIP down and... Now I know you must have a ton of questions after seeing that trailer, and we have answers as well as a full gameplay walkthrough coming up, so hang tight. My name is Richard. I'm your resident community developer coming to you from North Carolina. We're thrilled to be back to give you an introduction to Rainbow Six Extraction. With me today in Montreal, I have Bruno Lalonde, our lead technical director, 
and Alicia Fortier, game designer, to help walk us through. Alicia, what can we tell our players about Extraction? Extraction is a one to three player co-op experience. You might think you know what you're getting into since there's gonna be some of your favorite Rainbow Six operators, but it's gonna be completely different because this time you're not fighting against each other. You're coming together to face an unprecedented, evolving alien threat. Some of the operator's abilities, gadgets, and tech should feel familiar to Siege players, but this time, as you progress through the game, you'll unlock new ability upgrades and a whole new arsenal specifically designed to take on this new threat. So the operators we just saw in that trailer are very familiar, but what happened to Hibana? She got captured. In Extraction, you're always putting it all on the line. If your teammate falls during an incursion, you're gonna go missing in action. You can't play MIA operators until they're safely recovered. You and your squad are gonna have to come back together to get back in there and get them out. Every time you go in the containment zone, you risk losing all your progress and upgrades. So stay on your toes and weigh every move you make. Balancing that risk and reward scenario is going to be tough. Bruno, can you tell us a little bit more about the alien threat? What is it? Who are they? And where do they come from? What we know is the Archims are an evolved form of the parasite that was first detected a few years ago during the heartbreak event in New Mexico. But a lot has changed since. The parasite has spread to three new regions, emerging in several containment zones within New York, San Francisco, and Alaska. This is what we know so far. Within the containment zones, the alien ecosystem is in a continual evolution, as incubation nests and their sprawling tissue spawn procedurally, taking over different areas of the map and reaction to the player presence. The parasite is always spreading, always evolving, but it didn't look too happy about the operators disturbing their new home. What are we facing off against? Well, the black goo-like sprawl is probably the first thing you will take on. It spreads to the map once your presence is detected, slowing progress and helping the Archings. Some of the other threats you may have seen in the trailer are the long-range spiker, the explosive breacher, the shape-shifting tormentors, and the apex. There's a lot more species of Archings and mutations that have been observed. More to come on that very soon. Thank you both so much for joining me. I'm really excited to dig into more of the details. We still have crossplay to talk about. Yes, that's right. Extraction will bring everyone together regardless of the platform. And for our Rainbow Six Siege community, we have exclusive unlocks for you in both games. Okay, you've been waiting long enough. Let's take an exclusive first look at some gameplay footage. Here is Rainbow Six Extraction. Welcome to Rainbow Six Extraction, the new tactical co-op shooter game where Rainbow Six operators are dropped into alien territory. In today's walkthrough, we're on a mission to investigate anomalies identified at the Orpheus Research Center in Alaska. HQ will provide additional instructions. We need new data on the Parasite's underground network. It keeps evolving, adapting. Plant auto trackers on dormant nests. Don't destroy them or we'll lose the trackers. As a squad of three, Ella, Alibi, and Sledge will use their operator abilities to complete objectives, assist each other, and obliterate Archeans in their way. Drone spinning up. That's a grunt. Easy for a nest to incubate and bring to life, not so easy to eliminate in large numbers. Converge on location. Nice and quiet. The enemy reacts to intrusions in their ecosystem, including operators. Eliminate my target. So stealth tactics are the way to go. Visual on nest. Place auto trackers for our react scientists. Auto tracker activated. Visual hostile. Auto tracker activated. Parasite generates sprawl, a substance that connects the whole ecosystem. 
alert an Archean, and a nearby nest wakes up too. Archeans move faster and sprawl, but operators get slowed down. Take my guy out. The squad can use their React light to see bioluminescent properties in Archeans and in the environment. The contrast helps to better identify targets. Nest mapping complete. A scientist just gave me the thumbs up. Good job. Identifying Archean variants helps the team determine the best approach to take them out. Spotted a rooter. It can immobilize anyone in front of it, so Sledge will swing around back. Get out of there before the swarm appears. Don't push your luck. That was close. Here, the team can regroup and resupply. Airlock doors will open onto the next subzone, which will be tougher than the first. We need tissue samples from those Archies, and we need them gone. Use your React blade. Not done yet. That's your target. Don't put it to death just yet. Get that sample. We've located a spiker. It can fire armor-piercing projectiles. Alibi deploys a Prisma hologram. Deploying the base. The squad can use React tech to go further in incursions. The more intel they collect, the more tech they'll have at their disposal to fight off this threat. It's all about teamwork to outsmart the enemy. Barricade that spot. Reinforcing the wall. Creating a choke point is a good idea to increase the arc mine's efficiency. Eyes on hostile! Keep hunting. That's the React Threat Sensor. Smasher incoming. Wow, that did it. We'll take out the leader. No leader for the Archies to follow. Another objective completed. The squad can either exfil at the extraction point to bring home the latest intel, or move to the next airlock. The third subzone will be the most challenging yet, a true test of both tactical team strategy and operator reflexes. Some Archeans are responding to an elite as if they're communicating. No way we'd let them mobilize against us. Hunt them down until the elite comes out of hiding. is now MIA. I don't know if you can hear this, but we're mounting a rescue. Hang tight. You heard it. 
A rescue mission is underway. React still needs you. Operators, it's time to unite and stand together against this emerging threat. Squad up with friends in co-op or step into the containment alone. Stay tuned for more Rainbow Six Extraction intel coming very soon. If you think fighting aliens is tough, try learning guitar. Well, that was a segue. Ten years ago, Rocksmith redefined music learning by introducing the first console game that taught millions how to play guitar. Whether you're already an expert or just starting out, Rocksmith has an approach that's for everyone. A fun and interactive way to learn guitar, playing your favorite songs. And in the decades since its release, our community and its impact have only amplified. This year, let's turn it up to 11 and see what's next for Rocksmith. I'm Arthur Von Nagel, producer at Ubisoft San Francisco, and Rocksmith has truly been a dream project for me. As a lifelong gamer and a touring musician, Rocksmith is what I wish I had when I started learning music. And that's why I'm thrilled to share the next evolution of music learning, Rocksmith Plus, a new interactive music learning subscription service available this year. Learn how to play guitar and bass by playing along to master recordings of your favorite songs. Connect your instrument to your PC, console, or mobile device and get real-time feedback as you play. Connecting with Rocksmith Plus will be easier than ever now that you can use your phone as a microphone. Download the app, log in, sync to Rocksmith Plus, set it down, and play along. Now acoustic players and electric players with amps can use Rocksmith Plus with no extra gear needed. It's a game changer. And we're excited to reveal Rocksmith Plus will have a huge amount of songs at launch. All songs in the library will have chord charts that'll be perfect for rhythm players who want to learn the foundation of a song to hum and strum along to. We'll still have the note-for-note -note authentic arrangements for players that want to play songs exactly how the artists originally played them. And each week, we'll release a steady stream of new authentic arrangements to keep growing that portion of the library. We're also introducing the Rocksmith Workshop, a new tool that lets users create and add their own arrangements for songs we've licensed. Your subscription will give you access to all those songs more content than ever before, including genres beyond rock. We'll have pop, 
hip hop, country, Latin, R&B, all sorts of metal subgenres. We'll have music from all over the world, from big stars to indie darlings. It's the most diverse song library ever seen in music learning software. Rocksmith Plus will still have our proven practice features like Adaptive Difficulty and Riff Repeater, which let you practice and learn at your own pace or slow down and repeat tricky parts until you master them. We've improved those features in Rocksmith Plus and are introducing new ones. Beginner and intermediate players will benefit from more personalized learning, thanks to an enhanced recommendation system and more robust progress tracking. Players won't just see their growth on a single song. They can now monitor their progress technique by technique across the board, and overall offer a better sense of how you're improving over time. Advanced players will be happy to know we're introducing a new Rocksmith Tablet Review. That way you could take advantage of Rocksmith Plus's song library and practice tools in a format that's familiar and one that will hone your tab reading skills. We're excited to announce that you can register for a chance to participate in our closed beta right after the show. Visit our website at rocksmith.com to get an early look at Rocksmith Plus and help us test and create the future of music learning. Thank you so much to the amazing fans who have enjoyed and supported Rocksmith over the past 10 years. Let's jam together with Rocksmith Plus for another 10. Register now for a chance to play the Rocksmith Plus beta. Summer's coming and nothing gets thrill seekers blood flowing like bright sun and fresh trails. And Riders Republic will give them just that. Last year, you got a first look at our massive multiplayer outdoor sports extravaganza. Since then, the project's grown by jumps and grinds. Thrill Seekers, this is the Rider's Ridge, the Republic's stomping ground. From here, you can meet like-minded riders, manage your career, learn to nail those wild moves, stay stylish, share your creations with the Republic, stay on top of the latest news, and take up some ferocious multiplayer action like Free For All or Tricks Battle, our six versus six team competition. So, here's how it works. Performing big tricks on the modules will turn them from red to blue, and every trick that you stomp will contribute to your team's overall score. You still with me? Okay. When your team has turned all the modules blue, you capture that district which will help multiply your score into the big time. Progress, progress, progress. To unlock more content, you gotta earn those stars. So, if you wanna be the boss of your own career, the world's most famous competitions are waiting for you. Now, some might say the best parts of the Republic can be found in the city playground. We've got modules that you can slay for days. Maybe you're all about living on the edge. Either way, to progress, you've got to earn those stars. Having the right rig is important, too. And we've all got our preferences. All right, I get it. Sometimes you just want to explore 
and bathe in nature. That's right, everything you do counts. Getting those stars means more rad to be had, and the Republic will abide. There's always something awesome to do as you reach new milestones and unlock more challenges. <laughs> it's the Red Bull Joyride, people. It's infamous, it's spectacular, it's the biggest stage in slopestyle mountain biking, and guess what? You can play it versus your friends. There is so, so much more. More stunts. More sports. More events. Just more, okay? And a natural outdoor playground for you and your friends to enjoy. Any way that you want. When we say fun with everyone, we mean it. Look at all these riders! Does this speak to you? Then don't miss out on mass races! <laughs> Woo! Rider, see you soon. Don't keep the mountains waiting. Riders Republic is coming September 2nd, and you can pre-order now and claim your right to rip. Okay, so we've seen some of our favorite Rainbow Six operators battling alien parasites, but how's their day job going? You know, ever since Crimson Heist, we're still trying to clear all those pesky Flora's drones off the maps. Year 6 is off to a blazing start, with Siege passing 200,000 concurrent players a few weeks ago. If you haven't joined in yet, 2021 is the perfect time to drop in. Six years into our journey with Siege, we are humbled and grateful for the enthusiastic community that has supported this growth. So today is all about sharing quality of life developments that will dramatically improve player experience. With the community growing every day, we've been hard at work finding ways to improve your ability to play with your friends and meet new players. On June 30th, we are unifying our PC and cloud-based platforms with crossplay and cross-progression. That means that any player on Amazon Luna, Stadia, or PC will be able to queue into games together while having a unified account progression. And for console players, in early 2022, crossplay will be available between PlayStation and Xbox platform, and the cross-progression will be available between all platforms. For these updates, we needed a bit more time in order to prepare and make sure they have a smooth launch. Bringing these player bases together benefits everyone. It will finally allow you to play with your friends across different platforms. It also means that your progression will now follow you anytime and anywhere you play. We know crossplay is a feature a lot of you has been anticipating, and we are thrilled to see the enthusiasm its announcement has inspired. From your amazing fan art to the awesome cosplays, the Rainbow Six community is the lifeblood that keeps this game moving forward. We cannot thank you enough for your support. It is because of you that Siege keeps evolving and growing. To wrap up, here's a brand new animated trailer starring Thunderbird, the new Defender joining Team Rainbow. Check this out. Ready? Six years ago, I met a pilot. She saved my life. That symbol, what does it mean? 
This jacket was my father's. Dagu Wankan, Wichachpi. The creator's star has many meanings. Love, wisdom, bravery. Shutsu. Listen, I need to get this bird in the air. You try to get some rest. Yo, de bus. What's happening? Shh. New projects aren't the only things to be excited about this year. Take a look at the incredible updates coming to our live games in 2021. From the release of the Ghost experience to the latest teammate update, Ghost Recon Breakpoint keeps evolving thanks to your feedback. But that's not all. As 2021 marks the 20th anniversary of the Ghost Recon franchise, we are happy to announce that there are still many more surprises to come. Stay tuned, Ghosts. Just Dance has always been about connecting with friends and family. When you're in good company, there are no bad dancers. So move the coffee table, alert the local homeowners association, and let's get loud. My name is Todd Hall, and I'm a singer, dancer, actor, director, and choreographer. I am super excited to announce that my song, Nell's Hair, Hips, Hills, is going to be a part of Just Dance 2022. But that's not all. Oh no, for the first time ever, the Just Dance team and I are collaborating to give you an exclusive version of my song for Just Dance 2022. Girl, I don't dance, I work. work. I don't 
don't play, I slay. I don't walk, I strut, 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 and then sashay. To me, Just Dance allows people to express themselves through dance and to celebrate who they are and their individuality in such a fun way. Just Dance has transformed millions of lives and I hope that this song brings you all so much joy, whether you're dancing alone or with a group, to work out or just to have fun. It's going to be a great time and I can assure you, you will not just play, you will absolutely slay. The new lyrics were handcrafted specifically for Just Dance. And let me tell you something, they're full of sass because you know, they were written by yours truly, but I guarantee they are going to give people so much confidence. That's the reason why I wrote Nails Her Hips Hills and now it's been just danceified. I don't think they're ready for this jelly. I hope you all have just as much fun dancing to this track as I had making it. Oh, and one last thing. You will have the opportunity to be a part of the making of my new video, which will be released alongside the new Just Dance track. For more information on how to participate, darling, just check the link below. We got you. I cannot wait to see you all living your best life and being the most fabulous you have ever been. I will see you all in Just Dance 2022. Girl, girl. I don't dance, I work. I don't play, I slay. I don't walk, I strut, 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 and then sashay. But I don't work for free. That's not the tea, hunty. So make it rain on me, and I might let you see. Okay, dolls, y'all know what time it is. Come on, everybody on the floor. I want to see you work. Come on, nails, hair, hair, that's all. It's time to get our Viking on. It was a big year for the new chief of the Raven Clan but your journey with Eivor is far from over. In November 2020, we released Assassin's Creed Valhalla to our delight, it was the biggest launch for any Assassin's Creed game to date, and we have you to thank for that. Becoming Eivor, a Viking leader going on a quest to fight for a new home, is an adventure that resonated closely with many of you. I certainly had fun exploring England with Eivor and stumbling across unique world events that left me with memorable side stories. Thank you, Eivor. We're amazed to see how you dedicated yourselves to the Viking lifestyle. You've led more than 300 million raids in total and built more than 100 million buildings in your settlements. Congrats. Eivor still has a long journey ahead and we've been continuing to offer free updates for all players to enjoy post-launch. These updates include time-limited festivals, new quests, and even whole new game modes, such as the River Raids update and the Mastery Challenge. We add in community requested tweaks and features too. For instance, we'll be adding one-handed swords in the coming weeks. The team is also working hard at tackling issues and improving the game experience for everyone. We've been tracking various known issues on our forums and also shared our complex bug fixing process in a recent dev blog. We love seeing your continual feedback, and we thank you for your patience and support for the game. On top of regular free updates, we're also building on Eivor's story and the world of Assassin's Creed Valhalla through game expansions. Wrath of the Druids released a few weeks ago, allowing players to explore Ireland and battle a mysterious cult, the Children of Danu. In our second upcoming expansion, you'll get to relive the Siege of Paris. This is the most ambitious battle in Viking history, taking place in war-torn Francia. You'll have to do everything in your power to uncover enemy secrets and form strategic alliances in order to safeguard your clan's future. Players may be excited to learn that black box infiltration missions are returning. This means you're given a goal for a mission, but how you'll achieve it is up to you. Expect new abilities, weapons, gear, and of course, new enemies. Watch out for the Siege of Paris coming this summer. 
Assassin's Creed has long focused on the exploration of history, and we are happy to announce that the new Discovery Tour will be released this fall. It will be free to all who own Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Explore the world and take a deeper dive into the history of the Viking Age. The team has crafted a new experience where you'll get to play as people during the time of Vikings and follow them in their endeavors, big and small, while collecting exclusive rewards. Whether you're an Assassin's Creed fan with a heart for history or a student looking to supplement your knowledge, the Discovery Tour Viking Age will have you covered. Assassin's Creed Valhalla doesn't stop here. For the first time on an Assassin's Creed title, we'll be supporting the game well into its second year. While this year will be a very active year for the game, we're already working on more expansions for next year. Something tells me that Eivor is not done with Odin yet. So you've seen some great games from us, but we also have news about the movies and TV series we've been working on. Our Ubisoft film and television team has some exclusive content to share. Up first is Mythic Quest, the workplace comedy set in a game development studio that's streaming on Apple TV+. If you haven't watched the second season yet, here's a look at what you've been missing before the upcoming season finale. Why do you have goosebumps? This is an involuntary reaction to- Being inspired? I was emotionally manipulated. What's the difference? Oh! <laughs> Yay! That's it, that's it, that's it. Except make it about me and not the world. I feel really seen and heard. I don't want to see you or hear you. She played us to get what she wanted. She inspired us. She emotionally manipulated us. What's the difference? Up next is an exclusive look at a new trailer for our feature-length movie, Werewolves Within. It's a whodunit with teeth that'll be coming to theaters June 25th and on demand July 2nd. Hello everyone, I am Josh Rubin, the director of Werewolves Within. And I'm Sam Richardson, the star of Werewolves Within. Werewolves Within was based off a Ubisoft game and we're so excited to bring you an exclusive look just for you. Check it out. Dr. Ellis? I told you, she's probably tight. Oh! Ah! Touch this door again, I'll shoot. Again. Dr. Ellis? Dr. Ellis, please. Look, we need answers. It didn't disappear. What'd you say? It didn't disappear. Shh, shh, shh. What? It's not Emerson Flint. It's one of you. What the hell is that oh. supposed to mean? Okay, well, what did her eyeball say? Look, we don't understand. Uh, could this please come out? I'm afraid I can't do that, Ranger Wheeler. You could be one of them. What is it? One of what? A lycanthrope. A what? A werewolf. The roads are effed. Something's wrong with the generator. Also, there's a dead body under your porch. Ah! Yes! Okay. I'm gonna go get a croissant. Out of curiosity, who is packing? We having a good old fashioned sleepover. With guns, though. With guns, yes. Mwah, 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 mwah. Everybody's going, how the heck? <laughs> <laughs> Not uh, littering, I'm just excited. Not judging, just watching it. Follow Mythic Quest on Apple TV Plus and be sure to catch Werewolves Within this summer. In theaters or on your on demand platforms. No hero story is complete without a great rival to match them. After all, even the most vile tyrant is a star of their own narrative. 
When it comes to memorable villains, no one does it better than Far Cry. Please, we have to get on that boat. Abuela, what the hell am I gonna do with baseball cards? Do you have any idea what these are worth? Let us through. Oh, oh, yeah. Marco, always making new friends. Danny, you're late. Where's Alejo? He gave up his ticket for his family. Bullshit! Alejo is an orphan. Alejo's not going anywhere anymore. Come on, Marco. Let them on. Vamos. Good man. Get out of boxing gal. Get us on. Gracias. Don't worry about it, Chamaco. Here. That's all I've got. This isn't right, Danny. We should be fighting, not running to the Yankees. Alejo gave you a fucking gift, Lira. We survive. Same as the orphanage, same as the academy. What's that? Please, no, no, this is a fishing boat. You mean, no, no! He was El Presidente. Me papa loved to fish. We would go out on a boat, just like this. And we would catch the fish, and then release them. He would say, it's not always about your stomach, mijo. It's about the challenge. Except when he caught a big fish. That juicy marlin, ha! <laughs> you was too proud to let that fish go. Sick, Tirano! You have poison, Yara! You have poison, your sword! I have caught a very big fish today. Haven't I, Diego? Diego! No way. I have caught you, mijo. Now it's time to bring you home. I don't want this anymore, papa. We have no choice. Let them go. They can work. Make vivido. Truth or lies? Truth. They could be good workers. They could help rebuild paradise. But if you wanted them to live, Never set foot on his fucking boat. Thirteen years old. And Diego has such compassion for his people. These fish? We will catch and release. Just seen another disturbing lesson from Anton Castillo, passed down to his son Diego as he grooms him to become the future ruler of Yara. The most important part of crafting a Far Cry villain isn't the fact that they're evil or shocking, it's that there's someone that could sit across from you at the dinner table and charm you into thinking that everything they believe, no matter how twisted or horrifying, could be absolutely true. That's the secret to Anton's power, and we couldn't be prouder to have him join the Far Cry family. Now, when creating Anton, we had quite a lot to live up to. Because when you think Far Cry, you think about its rich legacy of villains. Which makes today 
a very special day for Far Cry fans. Not only did we get to see into the mind of Anton Castillo, we finally get to unveil some of our post-launch plans. Our dream was to honor the Far Cry villain's tradition and introduce a brand new experience. It is time to see the other side. Go further down the rabbit hole, and it's up to you to find a way out. Who's watching? My, my, what a happy fellow. <laughs> RJ, tell your mother and sister to... You are alive. That is all that matters. What the fuck? <laughs> Peekaboo, motherfucker. Where the fuck am I? I, too, am a king who isn't afraid to slaughter to get what he wants. I'm in my way! Is this a test? A dream? An opportunity? Then I will not waste it. Did I ever tell you the definition of insanity? We're so excited for you all to check out this next game. Oof, Neelam, I can't wait to get my hands on this one.
the whole team is super proud of this new game. And I can't wait for you to experience it. It's fair to say that we did something quite surprising with the concept of Mario plus Rabbit's Kingdom battle. And for this project, we didn't want to stop there. Hi everyone, Mario and the Rabbit are back. And I'm so excited to be back as well today to unveil our new project, Mario plus Rabbit's Sparks of Hope. We are diving back into this unique crossover with even bigger ambition, expanding our universe on a major scale. This time it's not just the Mushroom Kingdom, there is an entire galaxy to save. To do so, you will lead a brave yet reckless team of unique heroes, including some fresh faces like Rabbit's Rosalina and other surprises. On their quest to repel evil across the galaxy, their spaceship will bring them from planet to planet. They will be facing a powerful villain, Cursa, an enemy unlike anything our heroes encountered before. But they won't be alone. By their side, they will have their new allies, the Sparks. These surprising creatures, born from the merge of rabbits and lumas, will lend their wild powers to our heroes. Their natures and origin are at the core of our story. But let's keep some surprises for later. After the tremendous success of Mario plus Rabbit's Kingdom Battle, the entire team was moved by the amazing reception from players across the world. We were stunned by the love we felt for this unexpected team-up. We know we've been off the radar for a while now, as we wanted to take the time needed to bring this crossover to the next level. It's not just a new story with new enemies, new heroes. Mario plus Rabbit Sparks of Hope has big ambitions. It introduces new action elements into the mix that will push the boundaries of tactical games even further. That being said, we also wish to offer an easy to play experience for all players, yet hard to master for those of you that are willing to take the challenge. And you'll be able to experience this cosmic adventure exclusively on the Nintendo Switch. We can't wait to tell you more about the game soon. There is an entire galaxy to save, and we cannot wait for you to experience it. So we're not done yet. Let's check in with our CEO, Eve Gimo. Hi everyone. As you have seen, we have a fantastic and diverse lineup of games coming soon. And this is just the beginning. Thanks to all the teams at Ubisoft for what they achieved. 
and for always striving to deliver the best possible game experiences. I'm humbled by their resilience, energy and collaboration, especially during what has been a challenging year. I'm also proud of our industry's ability to bring together millions of players from around the world to share memorable experiences and moments of joy. This is one of the real powers of video games. And it is what motivates everyone at Ubisoft to do our best. Finally, my sincere thanks to you, the players. We appreciate the trust you place in us. Your involvement in our games communities keeps them growing and vibrant. We want to create original, enriching, long-lasting game worlds. And your contributions, feedback and support make it possible. We also are proud that some of the biggest names in entertainment trust our creative teams to develop games within their universes. For example, you just saw Mario plus Rabbit Sparks of Hope, developed in collaboration with Nintendo, where everyone's favorite Mario and Rabbit's characters return for an all-new adventure. And speaking of great partnerships, there is one more exciting thing we would like to show you today. It is a glimpse of the amazing journey that awaits you in one of the most beautiful but dangerous places of all, brought to life by the latest version of our Snowdrop engine. I'm excited to share this first look with you now. Enjoy.
And I are gonna tear shit up! Begin the replay! That is crazy. Thanks to Eve and all the devs that joined us to share what's new with Ubisoft. Today, we battled some Archeans in Rainbow Six Extraction, learned some new songs in Rocksmith, got an adrenaline rush from Riders Republic, lit up the dance floor in Just Dance 2022, visited new shores in Assassin's Creed Valhalla, witnessed the chilling confrontation in Far Cry 6, and teamed up with our favorite man in overalls in Mario Plus Rabbids. Don't go anywhere, there's still more to come in the post show. Bye, y'all.